Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I have here a very interesting parabolic dish that I made. I cast this completely out of fiberglass and I chose to make my own because uh, satellite dishes, they work pretty well but they're not quite the parabolic shape that we need for collecting sunlight. This dish is 24 inches in diameter and it has a, uh, right now we have a prototype surface on it. It's more of like a reflective film. It's probably about a maybe a 75-80% mirror. So when we get a true mirror on this, it's gonna be amazing. Even though it doesn't have the perfect mirror on it right now, it does do this. It's very strong. Now the difference between, you can see we've got a flame already. This is wood, by the way. This isn't paper or cardboard. This is a solid piece of wood, and you can see what it does to it. A lot of people will take small mirrors and line their uh, parabolic shape with it, that works kind of good, but it doesn't give you the true curve effect that you get. This acts like a gigantic lens. Those act more as a mirror array, and mirror arrays work great. You see them in the deserts with the giant projects. They do that because hacking a giant parabolic shape in the desert, not very practical, so they use flat mirrors for that. Now, since we're dealing with the smaller object, the curve gives you a lot better results with it. This just, in a matter of seconds, does exactly what it's already on fire so this is a much better way to go um, I'm gonna be showing you in future videos how to do this now I'm gonna take you over and I'm gonna show you something else that I was working on and I'm gonna explain why satellite dishes well they work but you'll see all right what I have here is a satellite dish that I got for free from somebody I removed it from their yard and really good way to get these is to put an ad on Craigslist in your local area. Satellite Dish Wanted will pick up. I would recommend though that you try to find the fiberglass kind. These metal ones, they work good but there's a problem with them and that's why I've scrapped this project for right now. It does have a parabolic curve there but it also has flat planes everywhere. You can see that these on the edges here are not curved. These outer edges are not curved so this works well for picking up uh, signals from satellite of course and this would also make one awesome Wi-Fi dish for sure you could probably pick up everybody in your neighborhood with it but um, not really good for um, collecting sunlight you can attach mirrors to this and strategically point each one to one spot and I was gonna do that using hard drive platters I have 5,000 of them but the problem that I ran into is Making 5,000 exact points is really a pain. So this will work, this will get you a spot, but if you can get a satellite dish that is fiberglass, that has a true curve to it, and then you put an adhesive mirror surface to it, you'll be much better off because you'll pick up the continuous curve. One nice thing about this dish is that it has a lot of these curved pieces on it. We're gonna be using these to make a parabolic dish the size of these, just this section right here in a future video as well. I'm going to show you how to make a mold out of this and how to cast uh, your own parabolic mirror. Big parabolic mirror. So there you have it. This is the uh, parabolic mirror and we're going to be using this to cook with, to do a lot of other stuff and to boost some of our projects. I'm going to be mounting this and uh, like I said before in a future video, you're going to learn exactly how to do this. It's a lot easier than you think and I'm also going to be showing you how to make some really large ones. I'm going to get back to playing with my dish because it's getting pretty hot out here. And, uh, well, thank you guys for watching.